What's up, Young Nation? Z Watch, I'll show you. Oh my god. <laughs> can't even do an intro. <laughs> Boy. What's up, Young Nation? I'm here with two of my, uh, well, old junior youth that they're no longer junior. They're going to be taller than me and I don't like it. Stop giving me that look. <laughs> <laughs> They're still skinny though, I can still take them down. <laughs> I don't know. Not both of us at the same time. Alright, let's not get to the point where I can put both of you in a minute. <laughs> but I am here to do a very special interview. Of course, it has to do with my books. It's going to be them explaining why they like my books and why y'all should read it. Alright? Get it. Buy it. It's on my website. Still have the ability to use a code it's called free shipping. Alright, so... Feel free to like either say all at once, but let's not say it all at once because I know that both of you might. The first question is, all right, for the first question, why do you like the first book in the Darkest Light series, It Begins? What's the answer first? I will. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you're not allowed to talk for an hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I probably like it because it's super relatable. Like, it's just, it just starts out with a teenager, with a messy room, a normal life, you know? But then, but then it builds up and like, you can always picture yourself as like, in their shoes and then it just makes it so enjoyable to read. Anything else on that or? Without spoiling anything, cause he has a habit of spoiling things, especially when it comes to him, cause he's read the two sequels. Multiple times. Yeah. You can Probably more than out. you. Okay, so why do you like the first book? Okay, I like it because it is a Christian book. And Look at the camera, not at me. Look at the camera. I'm having a discussion. <laughs> Let me do this again. Seth, why do you like the first book? <laughs> oh, <we're not> blooper <laughs> real. <laughs> You're killing your brother here. So what, do you, what am I supposed to say? Why you like the first book? Okay. <laughs> okay, I love Darkest Light, It Begins, because it's a Christian book, but it's not super Christian. Kind of, um, but it's really like relatable as Takoa said, and it's really easy to, to digest. And it's a lot of action too, which is really fun. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, um, uh, Brady also does a really good job of like descri describing the characters, whereas in some books you read a book and then say they make a movie about it, you're like, whoa, I did not expect this character to look like this. Whereas Brady really describes his characters, and so you get like a in-depth image inside your brain. Yeah. Because I tell the people that say I describe and do too many writings, I say, no, I want to get a visual inside your mind. And mind like, visuals. Yes, exactly. Imagination. Mm -hmm. I'm like Disney with a book. Yeah, kind of. Except I kill people off and Disney doesn't Hey, The Darkest them. Light would make a great movie series. Oh, no, no TV, yeah, TV series. TV series. Yeah, because yeah, movies, because movies, they have to cut it out. I don't want, you have to, that's it true. falls a year, okay? This book falls a school year. The amount of stuff they'd have to cut out would be ridiculous. Yeah, that's true. Anything else great. Anything else you guys would like to add before I go on to the second book? Oh. Or the second question, I mean. Am I allowed to say, like... No, like, no spoilers. No, I'm not spoiling, but, like, like, about Regina and, like, since we live in the city, like, or is that not really... I mean, really... you can just be very limited in what you do say so I don't get stalked by people. <laughs> Yeah, we live in Regina, Saskatchewan, our postal code is... <laughs> no, okay. Y'all about to get me kicked off of YouTube and have people stalking me. Yeah, Brady's I'm... credit card number. Hey! Um, another reason why I really enjoyed it was because the city that he writes about is the city we live in. So when they're like at the scene in the beginning when they go to the North Game Mall, it's like you can imagine yourself in that position or when the fights happen. You can kind of imagine yourself where and when it's happening kind of thing. Well see that's where I feel like a lot of people when they use the bigger cities like New York and everything people can easily visualize it. That's where I wanted to target mainly for Regina because it's like there's a small group of people that can be like oh I actually know this place and I mean there are quite a few people who travel through Regina. You'd be like oh yeah I've actually traveled there so I can easily picture it. The second question is would you recommend the first book to other people if they asked? Absolutely yes. not. My <laughs> <laughs> So, in answer to that question, yes, and in fact, um, we do some mission work in Africa, and Takoa brought the book, and there was a kid, and he probably read it five times, he loved it that much. Yeah, who was See, it, Paul? No, it was, was Daniel. It? Oh yeah, Daniel. Yeah. And he really liked it. Mm, I'm in Africa, people. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. Except he probably skipped a lot because he can barely read. But, That's okay, but I'm still in Africa, boy. He, I'm still in Africa, baby. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was really, I definitely would recommend it for, like, definitely from probably 13 to, like, 20s. Definitely that oh, age. Oh, no, I've had people targets. in their late 30s that yeah, have Yeah, but and... definitely it targets that age. No, no, age. no, no, no. Because but that's... old people can be hard to visualize things. I mean, like you, you can't remember Seth and when he slept. Boy, I have writing 38 books in total. Get off my back. <laughs> You've written 38? No, I'm going to write a total of 38. Oh. Have you that thing that I commented? The short the sword? No, I'm not anywhere near finished. Because oh. you have to remember, I'm still writing like five other books. Wait, can you add me in a book? Please, please. <sighs> okay, no, so no, if you were to recommend it. Was, when Kane's daughter, can I be like what? her boyfriend? Oh, I, already ha I already have figured out who her boyfriend's going to be. Tekoa. Yes, come on. No. Like, yeah, who? No. Can you just wait until the book's out? This is what happens, like, it's because, you know, they have the relationship with the author, they think they get special treatment to information. Okay, fine. Well, sometimes they do. Yeah, I know. Actually, I just feel your, much. like, our friend Ray yeah. has written a book, yeah. like, not a big one, but she's written a book and it's not published, but she has it in, like, a book book. Mm -hmm. And she, let's read it, and she, like, main she's, she, yeah, uh, it's pretty sick. Um, it, it goes to his head. Uh, and anyways, her plan is to kill him. Did, did she make him devilishly handsome? Yes. No, but I do have a <laughs> yeah. sick sword. Oh my god! You got the girl. And I. Anyways. So if you were to recommend it, why would you recommend it to other people? Well, number one, because it's like really relatable, and you can like imagine it, and it's super fun. Like you have you have your romance aspect, but it's not too heavy where it like makes you like cringe and stuff. Um, but it, it also has a ton of action, which I love, and it also has, like, your high school drama, which is pretty fun. Sometimes. When you're trying to be a superhero, but yet you still gotta deal with math class, like, hey, what's up? It's uh. a good, it's a, it's a good, what do you call it, alibi? Alibi, it's a good alibi. We yeah. need those. That's why, why would you recommend <laughs> it to people? Yeah, okay, I would recommend it, well, I think I covered this. Because of the one else. Yeah, because if someone were to actually actually ask you like what why would this be of interest to me? Um, if they were Christian, I would say that it's because it introduces Christianity into the world in a really um, understandable sense, but also because it's like Takoa said, it's jam packed full of action, and action is always great. And it's always also detailed. So if y'all like your demons actually scary, not cartoon imps. Yes. And That's and a bunch of ball! And he references a lot, like you, and he, you reference a lot to like the actual demons in the Bible and the archangels. Yeah, it's like, very Baleo. interesting. I, d I didn't know who Baleo was. I thought Baleo? you had, yeah. I thought yeah, this guy does his research. <laughs> I thought you just had made that up, and then oh, I actually like, looked into it, and it was an actual... Like, they have to also remember, sick. well, yeah, you also have to remember that, like, the Catholics, they have a lot more of, like, all the saints for their angels and everything, yeah. so that's where I took a lot of that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, and actually, um, except I, I thought you'd give Sam Samuel in the uh, second and third book a lot bigger role than the first, because, like, you kind of made him, like... You have to also remember, there's a lot of, like, background characters they have to work with, or, like... So that's where, when it comes to sequel books, you find, okay, who's going to be more intricate into the background? Who's going to be more intricate to the mm -hmm. actual story? Mm -hmm. So that's where you introduce characters so you know that they're there and that you can use them later on. Yeah. So that you're made aware of, like, okay, these characters are there, so. So we introduce, like, the allies that they do have, so then when they have later on of, like, okay, how do we get rid of this? Okay, well, they took care of it, like. Yeah. So that way people are not later on asking, okay, who are these people? So it's like, oh, no, I remember them. Is there anything else you want to leave with the people from my books that you would, any lasting comments? Or... Uh, highly recommended. It is definitely worth the read. Yeah, it's one of those books where, like, you open it, and then before you know it, you've done it. <laughs> Did you do something weird with your commas. <laughs> <laughs> Seth... <laughs> Seth was the one who pointed it out to me. <laughs> you know, that's so good. <laughs> I tried to have a thing to say. Um, but <laughs> Can the camera see me? Though? Yes. Nice. So, uh, what I've been doing. <laughs> and another thing I really, really like about your books, Brady, 
is that it's like a journey because so you read the first one I know that's all we're talking about but as you read the second and third and the other one it's like a journey and you see how relationships build and build and build and like it just is kind of like an upscaling thing like it would be in real life whereas in some other books it's just like kind of thing it's kind of flat <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yours is a journey. Definitely. Some mountains, hills, rivers. Well, welcome to being a teenager with superpowers. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't know. I wish. Yeah. Well, well, what do I do weird with my commas, boy? Yeah, actually, why? Do why did you tell me that? I need money to do that. Okay, but... Just let me know. Okay, okay, okay but you know what? You know, we're running out of time. So, so thank oh, you all for coming. Brady, thank you all Brady, for watching. Brady, Don't forget to like, Brady, comment down I below. I have a question and... for you. <laughs> I answer this on camera. Brady. Brady. Why, why did you make yourself the dad and not the main character? I always because I've always wanted to be focused mainly on the kids, and that way I can do prequel series, so I can tease at things of things I've happened before in the past. Good that way it makes readers go, I want to know what happened in the past. Yeah, that's good. Okay, but thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe and share it with anyone else you know that and might be interested in knowing. It was really fun. Comment, to comment, add us in the books. <gasps> okay, I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your year. Bye!